Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Before we get started, remember the only place that you can leave a comment on this video is on my website, MrSaltwaterTank.com. So follow the link below if you're not watching this video on my site, and you'll be taken straight there, and you can leave your comments and watch the video as well. With that, let's move on. Testing your tank's water parameters? I bet it's not in the top 10 list of things that you want to do to your tank. I'll be honest, I don't wake up in the morning and go, it's a brand new day, let's test my tank's water parameters. But to keep things dialed in, it's an important part of the game. So today I'm going to talk to you about why to test your tank's water parameters, I'll show you where to go to learn about what tests to run, and I'm going to show you a piece of equipment that makes testing your tank's water parameters easy, very accurate, and it'll make those old test kits that you're using now, well, it'll make them look like hunks of junk. So with that, let's get started. I said that testing your tank's water parameters was essential to keeping everything looking great. And that's a very broad statement, so I want to narrow it down for you all. Here are some great reasons to religiously test your tank's water. Number one, it lets you know when your tank cycle is done. Now this is really only an issue when you first start your tank. You want to know when that nitrogen cycle is complete. Because only once it's complete is it safe to add fish corals and invertebrates. If you're not testing for it, you're not going to know when it's done. Number two, it lets you know your tank's personality and how it behaves. Now, I don't mean tank personality as in a reef junkie, reef enthusiast, or tank dabbler. I mean, kind of what's your tank's temperament? For example, my tank is alkalinity, it hangs out around four to four and a half. And most people would say, that's really low, that's a bad thing. Well, it's actually not. Everything in my tank looks great. Now, if I wasn't constantly testing my tank's alkalinity, I do it about once a week, just so you know, then I wouldn't know that it's so low and it could occur to me as a problem. For example, let's say I tested it back in October and it was at eight. And then I tested it today in January and it was at four. I'd probably freak out and want to raise that alkalinity back up. But since I've been watching it come down over time and everything looks great, I'll know that my tank wants to hang out in the low alkalinity range. So I'm just going to leave it be. Again, by only by testing will you see those little changes and get an idea where your tank likes to hang out. Testing your tank's water consistently can give you a great idea of good things happening in your tank. Let's say you notice that your calcium and your magnesium are constantly low. This can be a sign that your hard corals are starting to grow and suck up that calcium magnesium. This is a good thing, but only if you are testing those parameters would you know this is happening and know to add more calcium magnesium to sustain that coral growth that you're looking for. Testing your tank's water can also help you keep your tank as stable as possible, safe for when you're doing a water change. You want to make sure that the water coming into your tank in your new water is as close to as possible as the parameters that are already in your tank. Without testing, you wouldn't know what to shoot for. And here's another good reason to test your tank's water parameters. It's going to let you know if something is off. Let's say that all of a sudden your nitrates jump up. You're going to go, well, what's wrong? Am I missing a fish? Am I overfeeding? Is there a bunch of detritus trapped somewhere? It's going to give you a clue for what's going on in your tank. But again, you only know these things if you're religiously testing your tank's water. Now, for those of you in the know with tank personalities, here's what testing your tank's water looks like for each one of you. Tank dabblers, test, test, test what? Test kit? Are you kidding me? Reef enthusiast. Football? Test the tank. Football? Test the tank. Foot? Oh, never mind. Reef junkies. Huh, organ tort looks like it's a little dull today. Phosphates must be creeping up. Note to self, replace GFO. Done. No matter what your tank personality, checking your tank's water parameters, it is important. And I know what you're saying to yourself over there. You're saying, Mark, you don't understand. Those test kits are a pain in the butt to use. Trust me, I know, I own the same test kits. You have to count drops in a vial. You have to add in some other liquid and watch for a color change. And you don't know if you've gone from pink to light blue. Is that what you're looking for? Or are you looking for pink to blue blue? And then you get frustrated and you don't want to use the test. Or worst case, you own one of those test kits where you have to get a color in the vial and compare it to those color cards. And you don't know if you have green with a little bit of yellow or you're looking at yellow with a little bit of green and you get frustrated again and you don't want to use it, or you do use it and your test results are completely inaccurate. Well, the good news is that their product on the market now, that makes those old test kit of yours completely obsolete. Now, what is that product? Well, it's the HANA Instruments Checker line of tests. And these are great because all you have to do is run the test and you get a number readout for the parameter that you're looking for. 
It's seriously that easy. And to prove to you that it's that easy, I'm gonna run the phosphate test on my tank so you can see these in action. First, turn on the checker and add 10 milliliters of test water from your tank. Then, press the button to zero the test. Next, add in the reagent and shake gently to dissolve. Then add the test sample to the checker and press the button to activate the timer. Three minutes later, wham, there's your test result. No color matching, no titrating, no guesswork. Instead, you get an accurate result with no frustration. I'm pumped that Hannah came out with these checkers. I'm completely addicted to mine because it makes testing my tank's parameters so easy, it's almost mindless. I'm starting to throw away all my old test kits. Now, why haven't I thrown them all away? Well, as of January 2011, when I'm making this video, Hannah hasn't released all the tests for all the tests that I usually use in my tank. So right now they have a couple of them and they have plenty more coming in the works. So you can bet as soon as they bring out a new one, I'm gonna be showing it to you after I throw away my old test kit for my tank. So if you find out more about the Hannah checkers, go to mrsaltwatertank.com slash checker. Testing your tank's water parameters might not be high on the list of things to do with your tank, but testing your tank is important to keep it looking great and to keep your tank dialed in. And with products out now like the Hannah checkers, testing your tank's water has become easier and more accurate than ever. Now I told you earlier that I would let you know what tests you should be running on your tank. Well, I've made it really, really easy for you. I've broken down what tests you should be running based on what type of tank that you have, as well as your tank personality. I've also made specific recommendations for what test kits I recommend for each test. To get that information, go to my website, mrsaltwatertank.com slash test kits. Hey, if you're not testing your tank's water, hop to it. Remember, it takes a lot less effort to run a test than it does to react to a problem and fix a problem in your tank. And if you're already running your tests on your tank, congrats, my hat's off to you. So until next time, I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Enjoy your tanks and know your tank personality.